The CSGO skins market is wild. Volatile and risky, but also at times wildly lucrative. Today we are talking about a small but also crucial part of the skins market. Cases. So, what are cases? Nah, no, <laughs> I'm just kidding, we aren't going that far, I assume you know what cases are. But uh, which cases should you buy? And which are the best to avoid? Which cases are past their prime and which are just getting started? What is the rare drop pool and uh, why are cases from there your best bet? Join me in today's video, where all of this and more will be made clear. Let's dive right into it, by going over the rare drop pool. At any given time, we have five cases that are actively being dropped in CSGO, whilst all the rest of the cases sit in the rare drop pool. Each time you receive a case as a drop, it has a 99% chance to come from the active pool and a 1% chance to come from the rare drop pool. From those numbers alone, I guess you already figured out why the best bet for an investor is the rare drop pool cases, since those are going to eventually fade off in supply but still have demand. Uh, current active pool cases are the Recoil case, Dreams and Nightmares case, Snakebite case, Fracture case, and Clutch case. I would recommend against investing in any of these cases, but with those five out of the way, there are still a lot to choose from. So let me show you my favorites and tell you why they are. My first recommendation is any of the cases that just went away from the active pool and are still relatively close to the prices of the cases in the active pool. These cases are the Prisma 2 case, the CS20 case, the Prisma case, the Danger Zone case and the Horizon case. All of these are removed from the active pool but still have quite a low price tag so you can stock up on quite a few. The only problem with these cases is the huge supply and there really is no telling exactly how quick that will be eaten up but in my opinion it is a surefire bet in the long run to go for one of these cases. Your second and more risky option is to go for one of the cases that is already up there in price. There are quite a few of these uh, that I would recommend though. In my previous video I talked about certain operation cases, more precisely the Riptide case, the Broken Fan case, the Phoenix case and the Vanguard case. I still stick by my opinion that these are some of the best higher end cases to invest in right now. But I would also give a fair shout out to the Chroma series cases, since they have the OG knives in the Chroma finishes. Stuff like the Karambit Sapphire, M9 Ruby, so on and so forth. Because of those knives, I consider any Chroma case a good investment too. Then you have the Revolver case, which is by far the most inexpensive case to feature the OG knives in OG finishes, such as the Karambit Fade, the M9 Slaughter and so on and so forth. This makes that case a very valid investment as well, although the rest of the items in the case are fairly underwhelming. I would avoid super expensive cases such as the Bravo, Weapon Case 1 and Hydro Case, since cases like these are already at a peak and have been sitting very consistently up there if you compare them to other cases that have tripled or even quadrupled in price in the same time span. With all of that being said, my advice has been given. Now it's totally up to you whether you want to listen to it or not. A fair disclaimer to put in the end too is that you should always make your own decisions and should not rely solely on advice handed to you over the internet. Do your own research as well as I have uh, done mine and you are listening to mine. Uh, with that being said, I shall bid you farewell. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Uh, I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers and any help to reach that goal would be greatly appreciated. You could also show your appreciation by leaving a like and please leave a comment telling me if you decided to pick up any cases. It's always interesting to see what you guys choose. Until next time, goodbye.